Data entry forms make collecting data in Excel more user-friendly, accurate, and consistent. In this video, I'll show you how to create a user-friendly data entry form that automatically adds responses to a data table without using any VBA or complex coding. Let's get started. For example, let's say we need to collect employee data and create a data table containing every employee name, department, and office they work in. Instead of having each employee enter this information directly into individual columns, we can create a data entry form that makes this process much easier. First things first, we need to add the data form tool to our quick access toolbar. To do this, right click on the toolbar and select customize quick access toolbar. Choose all commands from the choose commands from drop down, then scroll down and select form from the commands list. Click add to add the form command to your quick access toolbar and hit okay to save the changes. Next, we need to convert our data table into an Excel table so that the form knows the data range to enter data into. So I'm going to select the entire data range that our employee data could be in, open the format as table dropdown, and select any style to create the table. Now for the magic part. To add data to our table using a form, select any cell within the table and click the form button we just added to our toolbar to open up the data form. Each field in the form represents a column in our data table, and we can see how many entries or rows of data we have in the top right corner. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's add a new employee to our data table using our new form. All we have to do is click the new button and simply fill out the information. I'll go ahead and add Kylie Leonard by entering Kylie in the first name box and Leonard in the last name box, and then add our department and office she works in. When we are done filling out the form, just click new again to automatically add Kylie's information to the bottom of our data table. Some other fun things you can do with forms is that you can actually search your data using the criteria button. So for example, if we want to find all employees in the IT department, we click criteria, enter IT in the department field, and then click find next to cycle through all the IT employees. You can also edit an existing entry by navigating to that person using the find previous and find next buttons, making your changes, and Pressing new to update the table. If you make a mistake when editing the fields in the form, just click restore to revert back to the original entry. Last but not least, you can delete entries by navigating to the employee you want to delete and click the delete button. Confirm you want the entry deleted by pressing OK and it's immediately removed from our data table. Forms not only make data entry in Excel seamless, but they also prevent user error. And there you have it, a professional data entry form created entirely in Excel without any coding. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Excel tips and tricks.